Okay, geometry, chapter two, section seven, proving segment relationships. Uh, certain things that we know about segments, you know, we know how to measure them at this point. We know that uh, two shorter segments added together would equal the longer segment. We know about bisectors, cutting segments in half. And so now we're just going to put that all together in a proof. So we're going to start with example number one on page 143. Okay, here's the proof, example number one on page 143. I've kind of drawn it off to the upper right-hand corner there. Um, it's drawn uh, in the book as well at the top of page 143. So the statements are, I have been given CE is congruent to FE. Okay, so CE, I'm going to go over here and mark it on the line. CE is congruent to FE and ED is congruent to EG. Okay, so those smaller segments are congruent to each other and the larger segments are congruent to each other and that is the given. What it wants us to prove is that CD, I'm going to write this above, prove that CD, let's see, did they use equal or congruent? They use congruent, is congruent to FG. Okay, so when we're proving things congruent, we have to prove them equal first. So we're going to go step two, and we're just going to take our first statement and prove congruency. Okay, so if they're congruent in step one, they're equal in step two. And that is because of segment congruence. Or if you wanted to say it another way, if two segments are congruent, then they are equal. So now we're going to take uh, the pieces of the segment. So now we're just going to take, again, like I said, the pieces of it the two smaller pieces equal the biggest one. So we've got CE, let me scroll up here just a little bit to look at that, CE plus ED equals the entire thing, which is CD. And that is because of uh, segment addition. Again, what we did um, on the more vertical line is we just added the smaller segments. So in step four, we're going to say that FE plus EG we're going to say that that also equals CD because of substitution. Okay. Notice that we just took, um, let me get my highlighter up here. We just took that and that from step number four because that equaled that in step number three, or that plus that equaled CD in step number three. So that gets us to step number five. Now you can probably see where this is going here. Because both of those things equal CD, then we have, um, we also know that FE plus EG equals the entire segment, okay, FE and EG equals the entire segment, which is FG, and the reasoning for that is going to be segment addition, just like it was in step three.
And so now you see where we're going here. Our final thing is going to be CD to FG. You will notice that they are equal to the same things in step four and five, which means in step six that they are equal to each other. because of substitution. I didn't make my line long enough there. Let me see how close I can get. Ugh, I don't like that. That's pretty close. Got that line to match up a little bit. And so the final step is going to be going back to congruence okay changing our equal back to congruent to get the actual proof that we want so we got step 7 CD is congruent to FG very beginning we wanted to prove CG, CD is congruent to FG so we are good to go okay that's about six and a half minutes of proof um, we'll work on some of these in class and that is all